Hi everybody. I've been aware of this beautiful motorcycle for a while and I've been hoping and hoping and hoping that something would happen that would bring me back east to where it is so I can get a video of it in person and that hasn't happened. So we're just going to make a video now. Now this beautiful bike here is owned by a buddy of mine, Todd, who has other original paint machines that I've met in person. In this particular photos I'm going to show you was posted by another friend of ours, Paul Greenwood here you can see, who is also the gentleman who sold me all the invoices. So Todd and this Todd here and Paul are very aware of exactly what this bike is. This here is an original paint, yellow, factory special order. Frame, fork, tanks, toolbox, with red crash bars, factory special order. History since new. Todd got it from, I believe it was the original owner's family. If I remember the story correctly, I placed a call to him to refresh my memory and he didn't call me back. I'm going to hit him up for other photos and details. If I get that, I'm going to make another video of this beautiful machine. Lots of era customization. Spotlights, four spotlights, cool mirrors. Now, these bikes were ridden. They're, they're ridden. You know, you didn't buy it, put it away, and go, okay, well, I guess we'll just save it for 80 years and see how cool it becomes. You, you rode the motorcycle, it was a brand new bike. So, of course, you updated with stuff as it became available. You got an early 50s pan deluxe seat and bags, and some pan head grips, and this little do wacky on the mirror. But this was an era ridden bike. This is what people did. This is how it got put away wet. <clears throat> Very common to stick a pan head muffler. People wanted to update and have the new sound and the new look. Very common. So, <clears throat> this special order paint job stuff, this was the norm. Was the norm back in the day. The AMCA comes along and says, that never happened. Destroy it all and restore it perfect. So we don't have very many of them left, but the majority of them, according to my invoices, if it's any account. Let's go back to statistics. We have 350 plus invoices plus substantiating letters and documents, which is amounts to close to two or three thousand documents. So statistically speaking, it's proven. Do you follow? Statistically speaking, it's proven. Nobody has all the original invoices. And letters and documents, not even Harley, because they let it get stolen back in the day. But from what we know, <coughs> statistically speaking, it says it's the norm. From the invoices that I've posted in the documents, all you gotta do is go back to YouTube and watch them. Yeah, there's over 1,700 videos. You might learn something in the process, and you might teach me something. Call something to my attention. Let me know. <coughs> New stuff is always coming to light. Look at that. Yellow primary cover with a red inspection cover. Remember I told you my 41F had a red inspection cover? Well, here's another bike with a red inspection cover. Factory custom paint. Bam. Look how cool that is, man. Beautiful wheel rings. Look, look at the duckbill bumper on this and the sweeping. Man, look at the beautiful accessories on this loved motorcycle. Shabam. This is an original paint machine, guys. Look at that. Now, Paul, I forget the year. Let me, let me look it up here. I'll say it was. Come on. It's a 1941 WLD. 1941. Okay, 41. Now, what that means, <clears throat> which we'll never know for sure, because I don't have the invoice. But, all this stuff here, this came out in 38. All this stuff was available. All this accessory stuff. These came out in 40. My police knucklehead proved that factory custom paint. If you don't like it, here's another one. Look at the striping. That's all factory original stuff. This here, put that on. Up, oh, whoa! Right through the squashed bird on a factory chrome package. 
Yeah, that was there since new. Battery chrome package. Remember, oh, whoa, look at the gas cap, short neural gas cap. Look at these here, Dash 38, Chicago Motorcycle Supply. These are lighted. If you go back through the videos, I'm talking about putting lighted ones on maybe. Well, here's our lighted ones right there, right there. Bam. This is such a cool, oh my God, cool machine. As put away wet. Look at this. This is yellow. This is yellow. The springs are yellow. Right controls extra. Extra, extra, extra. Somebody was a little guy on a little bike and wanted it decked out. And this thing is decked out to the max. It doesn't get any cooler than this. It really doesn't. Let's see what else we got. <clears throat> On the side. So the other side. Look how clean this machine. For this to be an original paint bike. See this here? If I, if I remember Todd telling me correctly that 65 is original paint. That there is uh, 64, I think. And I'm not positive on this here. There's a trick paint job. It appears to be a 57. I know he's got a beautiful original paint 47 in the pile. So, you know, another original paint aficionado, he knows what this stuff is. He's got it. His, his 47, when I was at Los Angeles with my blue 47, remember my beautiful blue 47? I about fucking died. I about fucking died. His bike is nicer than mine. Wow, how the fuck do you, as nice as my bike was, this was nicer than mine. Holy shit. And here's this untouched 47 with a Deets headlight. Remember I told you they use Deets and stamp gas caps if you go back to the videos? Well, here's an untouched 47 with a Deets headlight. The AMCA judges, bless their hearts, they all think they know something. Didn't ever pick it up. He's like, how come they never caught it? And I says, well, they don't know the difference. They didn't even look past the windshield. They said, oh, original made bike. And he says, man, they've just been using mine to compare. I says, well, maybe they should learn something. But there you got it. Wow, Ooh, another short neural gas cap. I guess they used those in 41. <clears throat> so there we go. Uh, imagine if this thing was a knucklehead. But anything of this caliber, original paint from back then, wow. And he got it on eBay because nobody wanted it because they never made that color. What a bunch of idiots. What a bunch of fucking morons. I guess they listened to Mark Nieberman, Mr. Big, you know, Robbie Knight. Yeah. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, Rubio or Rubicon or something like that. And then there's Seabud. A bunch of fucking mouths on classic American Ironside talking shit. So we'll have more information for you about them later. Anyhow, here we got another beautiful original paint bike for everybody. And there it is. Right upon you. You don't like it. Too bad. So sad. See ya.